happy people it's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a 9 by 12 pocket page and a companion 6 by 12 um, layout and you saw in the beginning there that I actually have two pocket pages and two 6 by 12 layouts um, but it was too much for one video so I split it into two videos but for um, both videos I'm going to be using the Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Traveler Collection, which is a really beautiful, vintage feeling um, travel collection. Ha! <laughs> I guess that makes sense considering the name, but it's nice and soft and pink and browns and um, really light colors. So I thought that it would be perfect for this set of photos of us at Folly Beach, South Carolina, because um, it was cold when we were there and we were definitely not in the ocean swimming. It was super windy, so we're all in sweatshirts and hoodies, so I felt like the more muted colors worked better than, say, a normal beachy collection. And I'm using some brown ink and the stamp set that came in the collection to add just a little bit more to the cards that I pulled out of the snap set. So I have a title card there that says, I want to make memories all over the world. And then up in the top right corner is a three by four that has a um, map of the United States on it. And so I put a little dot over the approximate area of Folly Beach. And I'm gonna use that as sort of a um, secondary title card, just some a filler kind of card to mark our place and where we were in the country. And um, with Simple Stories, I really love, I mean, obviously I design half of their their product line, and so I really know the philosophy of their product really well, and what I love about Simple Stories is that everything, um, it's like the, the journaling cards are, you know, they obviously have lots going on, but there's so much to build upon too, which is what I really love to do when I use my Simple Stories products. There's so many places where you can customize the product to fit what you need it to do. So obviously um, I'm not leaving any of these cards the way that they came, and I'm adding to all three of them. And for this top right corner one, I'm adding um, some word strips to it. And I wanted it to say we were here or you are here, but there was no word strip that said anything like that. So I built um, built something, a similar sentiment out of different word strips. And then down here on this title card, I obviously added stamps to it already. And I'm adding some chipboard and some stickers. And I'm going to grab these letter stickers that are not simple stories. They're pretty old, um, but they're sort of a black vintage feeling typewritery um, set of letters so I added Folly Beach South Carolina into that luggage tag area and then I added or I'm going to add um, journaling to that middle card but I'm looking around to see what else I can add to it and I'm pretty sure I do yeah I do I add stamps to it as well so all three of those journal cards become custom to this page specifically, which is something that I, I tend to do more often with my Simple Stories products than any other product. Now I'm going to take the time and I'm going to ink the edges of this car because I thought it would help it stand out more on that map card, but I don't end up using it on that map card. But I'm leaving this inking process in because I'm going to use it on the other side of the spread in the next video. So you know, stay tuned <laughs> for me actually using that car. I'm trying to figure out what to add to that card at the top because as much as I like the map, I feel like those letter or those word stickers are just kind of hanging out there with nothing to hold on to. So I'm going to add that little heart and probably add something else to it as well. I love these simple vintage collections that are designed by Kate Teague um, because they have a really um, digital scrapbooking feel to them and since my first love and my um, I design products for digital scrapbooking I love how layered and, and fun everything is and it makes me makes me get a little bit nostalgic for my digital scrapbooking days and so they're really fun for me to layer up and use with all of their built-in layers so I have all of these 
four by six sticker sheets that I'm just kind of going through and adding icons from them. I'm going to add this little hot air balloon. Um, normally I don't love using hot air balloons. I'm not sure why. Maybe because I never have hot air balloon pictures or anything like that and I'm very literal when I scrapbook. But there's hot air balloons on the right hand side of the spread and also I'm going to incorporate some hot air balloons into the 6x12 portion of this video. So I decided to um, add just one hot air balloon there to tie the whole motif together and I believe I'm going to use a hot air balloon stamp on the journaling card as well. I put um, us and then a little word strip, selfie time I believe is what it says. Need to add a couple more stickers to these blank photos. You can't just have a blank photo in my album. They need to have a little decoration. So some word strips and some little pennants. I need one more something for that photo of Patrick and Finn. And of course the heart is perfect. And some more word strips, because why not? I always like my embellishments kind of hanging off the side. So I'm gonna grab this hot air balloon stamp and a postage cancellation stamp. I believe that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna add it to, oh, it's a compass. I'm gonna add it to this journaling card and then I'm gonna add it on all my journaling at the end of the video. So I'm gonna put this aside after I'm done stamping and work on my six by 12. There you go, now that ties in all the stamping and the hot air balloons. I love the brown ink on this page. So I'm going to keep that right there as sort of a reference for how things will look together. This is the first time I've gotten into the Simple Vintage Traveler collection, so um, I have everything to work with. So I'm going to kind of go through the 12 by 12 papers and find something that will work. And what I end up going with is this first one here with the hot air balloons. And I'm going to mat the photo in this yellow diagonal stripe. Just a small mat, just to sort of differentiate it from the background, especially since the photo is so colorful and the background is so muted, I kind of needed a bridge between the two. So I'm going to cut it so that I have the hot air balloons. And I'll save that sort of newsprinty, painty side of the paper for something else later. So I don't often use the papers that have the motifs on them, the big um, designs built in. So I got to work around these hot air balloons um, in a way that makes them look incorporated into the design and not just having my design sitting on top of the hot air balloons. So I'm just going to sort of play around with embellishments until I have something I like here. And I realize that I don't like the basket of the hot air balloon just kind of sitting there underneath my photo. So I'm going to end up moving that down a little bit to cover up that hot air balloon. And I'm trying to incorporate in some more hot air balloons on top of the paper or on top of the design so that they're not just all on the paper there's some floating on top of it too. I have to use all of this washi tape because I find that I have a million and a half rolls of washi tape and I never end up using them so one of my goals was to make sure that I used washi tape throughout this set of spreads. I can't resist that cute camera. Okay, so now I have the base of what I'm going to work with here, and I've pulled out the 12 by 12 stickers. And I'm going to start layering things together. I wanted to go with a lot of layers on this page because there's a lot of layers going on on the pocket page, whether they're built into the 3 by 4 cards or whether I put them there myself. So I wanted to make sure I followed that theme on the other side of the spread as well. What's cool about Folly Beach, South Carolina is um, it's a beach that overlooks a 
out of commission lighthouse and um, what ended up happening was they were going to tear down the lighthouse and close the beach and it became a sort of um, charity thing where people are paying to keep everything open and on the walk out to the beach itself you can see it's um, asphalt and paved all the way out there and there's all sorts of um, graffiti but purposeful graffiti not the kind that is you know gang tags and stuff um, there were all kinds of sayings and people um, making art and things on the ground so it was kind of a fun walk out there and of course we had to stop and take a photo where it said folly which is where we were I took a photo of quite a few of the ones that I really liked and I only ended up incorporating one photo of the graffiti in this set of spreads but um, it'll be on the next video As you can see I'm just kind of working in um, stickers all over the place creating clusters nice and tight so that it looks all cohesive instead of just you know what we call a sticker sneeze where the stickers are just everywhere <laughs> gonna um, put in some of this cute orange washi tape I felt like I needed more color besides just the greens greens and blues so I thought the orange would be perfect and then what I end up deciding to do is um, putting some I put some more stamps on this side of the page as well so I'm gonna pull out the um, uh, hot air balloon sorry blanking there the hot air balloon stamps and I'm gonna I'm going to stamp some all over the background in brown just to tie the whole thing together and create just a little bit more action going on um, since it feels a little bit left side heavy right now so I want to incorporate them both um, within the clusters and also you know going off the page and um, floating around not attached to the cluster as well just a little bit more free form just filling up some space using two different hot air balloons here a little bit messy I'm still feeling like I need something up there in that top right hand side of the layout but I didn't want to use that big thick one so I'm going to use this one instead with the stripes There we go. And I'm going to call this one good. Thought about putting that there, but no. Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you, and I will see you next time for the other half of this layout. Alright, thank you.